probably opened lots of bottles, but have you ever wondered how they get the liquids in there in the first place? This machine fills 90 bottles a minute. It uses force in a complicated mechanical system to move the bottles around, but the job of getting the drink into the containers is done by applying force in a fluid system. Fluid systems are very important in our lives. Place these two fingers on your wrist and feel the fluids being pumped through your body right now. Blood is moving through your veins because your heart creates pressure. Pressure acts like force to move fluids through a system. A fluid can be either a liquid or a gas. When liquids are moved, it's called a hydraulic system, and when gases are moved, it's called a pneumatic system. In each case, pressure is the force-like quantity that moves the fluids from one place to another. Pressure also determines how much force a fluid exerts on a solid object, such as the air pressure pushing on the plunger in this tire pressure gauge. For technicians like Bob Burnham, who operates a fluid system, the job could not be done without pressure. Bottling and soft drinks, we work with two systems. Gas, which is CO2, and liquid. By introducing the liquid into the gas, we get the fizz, or what we call CO2 volume. Okay, my job is to maintain and check the CO2 volume to make sure it's at the proper levels at all times. What I'm doing here is checking the CO2 volume in the product. We take this instrument and puncture the top of the bottle so we will get, when we shake the bottle, we will get CO2 pressure build up and that will give us the amount of pressure in this bottle. As we puncture it, and we'll shake it up. That is going to bring up the amount of CO2 in the product. Now CO2 volume is a, a result of pressure and temperature. Here we have 40 pounds of CO2 pressure in the bottle. Next we take the temperature and the combination of the, of the pressure in the bottle and the temperature will give us the CO2 volume that we're after. If the CO2 volume is not in the proper standard, I have to adjust that at the carbocooler. The carbocooler pressure is what determines all of the CO2 volume. The carbocooler pressure runs higher than our bottle filler pressure, and that is what pushes our product into the bottle filler. That's very important for me in my job to understand how pressure moves liquid as a force to a lower pressure. It's, it's like an electrician would have to know how voltage moves a charge. And if we don't know that, I cannot properly do my job because pressure differential has, is probably the main ingredient in us producing our product. And if we don't understand that very well, it, it causes a lot of problems. Bob Burnham knows that fluids move from areas of high pressure to low and that the force moving the fluid is determined by pressure. Naturally, more pressure means more force. But sometimes there's a limit to the amount of pressure available. For example, the pump on this hydraulic jack creates pressure on the oil inside. As the pressure increases, the oil pushes against a piston and creates the lifting force. To calculate that force, the pressure is multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the piston. So the force is pressure times area. By changing either the pressure or the area, you change the lifting force of the jack. When the handle of the jack is pumped, what's happening is that the pressure is being increased. So the force is being increased. As the pressure increases, so does the lifting force of the jack. But soon a limit is reached, where the jack cannot handle any more pressure. But the force can still be increased without increasing the pressure. Since force depends both on pressure and area, when you can't add more pressure, 
increase the area. That means you have to get a bigger jack. This jack has a piston with a larger area. So with the same amount of pressure as the smaller jack, it can produce more lifting force. It's this relationship between pressure, area, and force that technicians who work in fluid systems understand to control where the fluids will go. They know that changing either the pressure or the area changes the force. So, when you need a lot of force, 